Okay, for our baby blessing, we're going to use the four elements of nature from the Native American Indian tradition, two from the Chinese tradition, and a little extra something something from our extra supernatural AME Hale Ho'onani selves. So if you don't have all these elements with you at home, I brought them for all of us. Okay, so first, first we have water. And if you do this at home, you have a bowl of water and you sprinkle it with Celtic sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, or Hawaiian alai red sea salt, or black lava rock sea salt. Then it becomes like the ocean. Now, in Native American tradition, water represents your emotions. And spiritually, water represents the ocean or compassion. And in Chinese medicine, water is associated with the virtue of wisdom. So when we bless Aura today, we will bless with our emotions to her emotions. Okay, then we have air. And for air, we just gonna, we're just going to use our breath. In the Native American tradition, air represents your mind. And spiritually, air represents the sky or freedom. So when we bless the baby today, we will bless with our breath, with our air. Then we have fire. Okay, so for this element, if I brought a candle. Now in the Native American tradition, fire represents your spirit. And spiritually, fire represents the flames of passion. In Chinese medicine, fire is associated with um, propi propriety, meaning laws and protocol, the right way to do things. So when we bless the baby, we'll bless the baby with the laws of the universe. Okay, then we have earth. So I have a little bowl of dirt. <clears throat> soil. Now in the Native American tradition, earth represents your home. Your body is your home. Nature is your home. And spiritually, earth represents the ground that you walk upon, security. And in Chinese medicine, earth is associated with the virtue of honesty. Okay, and then now we are going to have, the next element is wood. Now for wood, I have some Hawaiian wood. And spiritually, wood represents nature, growth, and creativity. And in Chinese medicine, wood is associated with the virtue of benevolence. Okay, now we have metal. So I have this little metallic angel here. Now, if you do this at home, maybe you have some gold, jade, silver, maybe a bronze medal from a war or the Olympics. You can use whatever you got there. <clears throat> Spiritually, metal represents iron, strength, and ambition. And in Chinese medicine, metal is associated with the virtue of righteousness. Now we're noticing that aura jade, gold and jade, that Matt and Aaron's baby is named after precious stones. Okay, so then now our extra special, special something, something extra from A and me, we're going to have crystals. We're just adding another element of our own here. I have all the crystals, every single one of them that exists. <clears throat> okay, now if you do this at home, use your wedding ring, an emerald necklace, rubies, sapphires, bust out grandma's black diamonds, maybe of a tiara. <clears throat> And you can use it to bless. Now, spiritually, crystals represent gemstones or higher consciousness. And in Vedic astrology, crystals are used to align yourself with the energy of the stars. Okay, so then our next one is we get flowers. Okay, so spiritually, flowers represent blessings. A blessing is not something you work for or earn. Blessings are free. They're gifts. And in Chinese culture, gifts are associated with tax write-offs. And in American culture, gifts are always associated with love. 